Hey guys, it's Nate, aka The Foot Accountant. Welcome back to the channel and the start of a new week today on Monday with the Foot Captain's promo. You know what Monday means, right? It means player picks or some sort of upgrade pack, but of course we really want player picks and with a lot of great cards and packs at the moment, I think this week would be a great opportunity for EA Sports to release a really insane player pick. So that's what we're going to be watching for with today's content because Monday is usually the day when we get those player pick type SBCs. We have a brand new one that is kind of, I guess it's a slight leak. It was teased earlier this last week a little bit on the weekend. So I'm going to take a look at an 80 plus times four player pick. That would be cracked and so OP. But I want to take a look at that. Yesterday's content, man, EA it's been so inconsistent at the moment. They've leaked Marcelo, and then they don't drop the guy in the game. They put an icon upgrade pack in the code. They don't drop the SBC. I don't know what's going on, man. So maybe even they're not going to drop this 80 plus times four, but we're still going to talk about it because that would be an insane player pick. And maybe we'll see that icon upgrade today. Maybe Marcelo is a part of team two. But I want to take a look at what's going on with the market. And of course, will we see a rise after the rewards released today? Because that is often what we see on this market. A lot of the brand new promo cards, people go out and try. So you see them go up in price a little bit. Not every week, but sometimes. Uh, and I think that this week in general, uh, just speaking of the SBC content to come throughout the week this week, uh, we have the Daily Icon Moments SBCs. It's just a week where EA is going to try to drain coins. And I think, again... With that 80 plus times four that is rumored, that would be a huge coin drain throughout this entire week as people want to try to pack the heroes and the hero captains that are available in packs at the current time. So we're going to talk about all of that and more in today's video. If you do enjoy the videos on the channel, of course, leave a thumbs up on them and subscribe if you're new. Now let's talk about today, right? We're starting the week with Monday upgrade packs. This is the tweet that I'm referencing when I'm talking about the player pick 80 plus times Four. Foot Sheriff tweeted out um, on Saturday, I think he said, I got told there is an 80 plus times four coming soon. No info on the release date. But of course, if there's a little bit of, uh, I guess if EA is kind of like plugging that in, it's a player pick, right? So it does not have to be added to the code. There's no pack code that we'd be looking for with this. We wouldn't see anything added because player picks don't get added into the code. But this would be an incredible, just the 80 plus times three is so cracked. Just imagine another choice with all the cards that we have in packs right now. This would be an incredible upgrade pack SBC. And again, like I said, right now, just think about the time that we are in. We are in two weeks before, a week and a half before team of the season hype is really going to begin. You've got player SBCs like Joaquin, Fernandinho. You're dropping the daily icon moments player SBCs. Um, it was Zanetti, Schweinsteiger, and Raul yesterday. So I really think this would be a great opportunity if I was EA Sports. I would drop a great upgrade pack like an 80 plus times four because that would drain coins off of the market, which we often see them do through SBCs before a big time promo like team of the season. So I think that that might be the SBC that comes today. If it doesn't, I still think like the 81 plus player pick, the 80 plus player pick times three, those would both be great options to have and potentially dropping today. So if you want to get ahead of the game, stock up some gold commons and gold rares. Uh, you go, go through the specific leagues, La Liga, Bundesliga, Serie A, Le uh, Ligue 1, maybe some of the off leagues like Eredivisie, Liga MX, just stock a bunch of gold commons and gold rares. If you want to do a lot of upgrade packs this week, that should start today. Again, right? Mondays are usually the upgrade packs days. And I think just, I, I kind of have this hunch that if the hero captains cards show as like, kind of like promo cards, they're not really heroes, right? They're kind of still like promo cards because they're listed in here and they're only out for a limited amount of time. I really think that you might be able to pack a hero captains player from an upgrade pack um, since I, I know, I think people have packed them from like 82 times 25 and stuff, I think. So you might be able to pack the hero captain's cards from an upgrade pack. And that would be also incredible. As you can see, of course, they're running lightning rounds late night right now. And I can't go without saying this pack today <laughs> cracked me up so much. The foot captain skipper pack. And <laughs> what is that pack description? EA shiver me timbers. It's an 84 plus pack, uh, with two different loans inside of it. So 25,000 coins for an 84 plus player and two loans. No, thanks. But uh, that pack had me laughing so hard when I saw that drop today. I almost want to buy one just for the memes. But anyways, uh, that's that's kind of what the upgrade pack situation would potentially be looking like after today on the game. Of course, we expect those because it is a 
Monday. But stock your club if you want to get ready for those. That could be a way you could prepare ahead of time before those drop today. Because again, with all the cards in packs, a Ben Yedder, a Royce, a Yadis card that so many people would like to pack a tradable for their clubs. Stocking up on those gold rares and non-rares, you would save some coins from doing uh, not going and out and buying them until after the SBC drops. So being ahead on that, you would be ahead of the game a bit. Now, let's just for a quick second go back and talk about yesterday's content because yesterday we had one of the best value SBCs that we have had in a hot minute. And I've actually already completed it. He is in my team. And that is the Jermaine Defoe end of an era card. We have, I think, the only other end of an era that we've had this year was Gosseth, the silver objective. Four-star, four-star upgrade for Defoe. High-low work rate change as well. Basically, what we talked about in yesterday's video that needed to happen to this card, they did the juice. They did the business, right? 96 attack positioning, 97 agility, 97 balance, 95 aggression. I cannot wait to use this card. Finesse shot trait, outside foot, flare trait. I mean, this card looks really, really good. 98 composure, 93 reactions, and it's only 60,000 coins. I understand that's a really hard card to link, but he is still English, right? So you're going to have opportunities. And of course, I know you guys have done icon packs. So a lot of you guys are going to be able to slap him in your starting 11 just like that. Uh, and and try them out. So I'm really excited for that SBC. The fact that it's only 60,000 coins is unbelievable. Seriously, that's one of the best value SBCs, I think, for a player that we've had in the the recent past. 4,900 upvotes on Footbin. It's just a tremendous, tremendous dub. You know what this reminds me of? Since we haven't had an end of an era in a long time, this kind of reminds me of the FIFA 19 Fernando Torres, when they basically gave his gold card just an absolute crazy boost, and everybody used this Fernando Torres. I believe this was the last Fernando Torres that we had before he went out of the game and then came back as an icon. So maybe that's foreshadowing a little bit about Jermaine Defoe. Is he going to come back as a hero or an icon later on, maybe in a couple years down the line? I don't know. Uh, but I kind of drew those comparisons there. But this SBC is is unreal, man. So I had to, I had to speak about that really quick. Um, and then, of course, as a part of yesterday's content, which was an unbelievably quiet day for what I thought it was going to be, we had the Raul SBC release as well. And this card yesterday, or this SBC, was released at about 570k to craft. A solid price, honestly, for the where the card is on the market. Yesterday, before the SBC, I believe he was around 600k. Uh, maybe just below 600, like 570. So basically his price is the exact same as the SBC, which of course you guys know with crafting player picks, if this is a card that you want to do, you're going to be able to get it done for a lot cheaper than that just because the ability to craft. So that's a W from EA Sports as well. Uh, and then I think we had some like pack supply SBC called Responsibility, which EA Sports, if you're trying to teach responsibility to the gambling aspect of FIFA, you're not doing a great job. Just, uh, I'll say that there. But anyways, that was yesterday's content. Defoe, Raul, W. Defoe is such a big W, man. I can't I can't wait to try that card uh, today on the live stream. But uh, now speaking into today, I might have just said today twice, but Monday content, what else could we see today? We didn't see the icon upgrade pack that I thought we were going to see yesterday. Of course, we did have the mini release. And we'll take a quick second to look at the mini release cards over here on Footbin because, of course, this is some pretty big news. Uh, we had the Koke uh, release card. I mean, really nice item. They didn't mess with his work rates, which I think they would have. It would have been nice if they made him like high defensive or high attacking work rates. But that's a really solid looking card. Cooper is a pretty cheap center back in the Premier League. Not the best of pace, but he's going to be, uh, you know, more of like an auto type defender, I guess, as some people call him, right? 87 composure. He's just going to be a, a wall is what he's going to be. So that's a cool SP, a cool card for pretty cheap. And then we had a Mario Gomez. Mario Gomez was leaked earlier on the weekend. He got a four-star skill move upgrade, I believe. Was it a skill move upgrade? Yeah, he got a skill move upgrade and he got some pretty big boosts. He got plus 17 long passing, plus 15 agility. Those are his biggest in-game stat boosts. But 94 sprint speed, 87 acceleration, 98 finishing and attack positioning. This man is just going to finish in the box is what he's going to do. He only has the power header trait, but uh, that's a really nice upgrade again to a brand new hero captain's uh, card that they released. The big L from yesterday and what left us wondering was where in the world was A, what I mentioned before, the icon upgrade pack, and B, where is Marcelo? So evidently, Team 2 is going to be cracked out of this world with Marcelo, Busquets, and so many other great cards in it. I can't believe they're leaving Marcelo for Team 2. That's crazy to me. But 
it is what it is. And, you know, today could be our second chance at an icon upgrade pack. Just because we didn't get it yesterday and the prime icon player pick expired, I would definitely say today could be an opportunity that we would see the SBC. EA maybe, they've done this before where they like wait a day after an SBC expires, then they release it. So, I don't know what EA is doing. Again, I would imagine they would like to have an icon upgrade SBC live during this time to try to drain as many coins as they can. So that I think would come at some point later on this week, if not as soon as today. And then I think we're getting Beckham today as our daily icon moments player SBC. I think Beckham is going to be the guy. He's the, one of the only other ones that has been leaked as of right now uh, to be one of the next up players. So unless there's some new leaks for today, or they drop something new, uh, unexpected. I think Beckham is on our radar as potentially the icon moments SBC that we'd see we could see today. So technically, in terms of content, if it's gonna be a quiet Monday, it might just be upgrade packs and Beckham, and that would be a pretty quiet day. We'll see if they throw anything else in there with an icon moments upgrade SBC or some other sort of gamble pack as well. You never know what EA can do. Again, keep an eye on the leaks. Uh, for that one. Now let's talk market, right? Because as we talked about in yesterday's video as well, yesterday on Sunday, a lot of these cards dropped off. A lot of the captains dropped off in price, of course, as they got packed more. People finished their weekend leagues and they sell these cards. Let me just go to the squad here and take a look at these. Uh, Milito, 610,000 coins, bit of an undercut there, but look at his graph from yesterday. Started the day off at 800k, went all the way down to 624 rebound to 680 and is now down to 610 that is way down in price right ben yetter is almost a million he's like 1.08 i mean ben yetter i sold him on saturday for um one point i sold him on saturday for like right here like 1.4 1.43. I remember talking about it last night. So he went to 128 last night, then went to 136, and he's been dropping all day. He's now down under 1.1 million coins. So big drops on him, big drop on Royce. Um, again, all the hero captains cards. Dempsey is 250, Junberg 667, Quagliarella 75k. I know a lot of people might be losing coins on a Quagliarella that they bought over the weekend for like 120 or something. Um, but I, th I think that that card, especially with Jermaine Defoe dropping yesterday as another really hyped kind of budget striker in that same price range, that really hurt his price. Yuris is down. Uh, Mings, it was like 270. He's starting to go back up a bit. One thing I'll say about this, right? It's Monday. Monday morning, Foot Champs rewards. So you expect the market to rise a little bit. I'm going to be very cautious with that today. I do think there will be some opportunities for a rise. I was looking at Yuris and I was searching this card up and trying to search at the 59th. As you saw, we looked at a, a minute ago, they're still running lightning rounds. Uh, any any cards that were popping up here for Yuris at like 140 or under, we're getting auto insta sniped. So when I see that, especially on a lower tier card like this, I might buy a couple Yuris if he goes into the 130s, but I realistically wouldn't expect to see Yuris over like 150 or 160. I mean, you take a look at the supply up to 160, uh, and this is glitched out 100%. Maybe we'll try a different filter here. We'll go special. This is the only special that Yuris has this year. So 160K. All right, that's a little bit less supply than I thought he might have. But, I mean, seven, eight pages. How many overnights? Nine, 10, 11 pages. So he probably will rise up a little bit today after the weekend league rewards just because he's a French goalkeeper in the Prem and everybody wants to try out this card right now. And he was 180K on the weekend. Uh, but I was really hoping to see, is this getting insta-bought? Yeah, see, insta-bought at 140. So there's people that are buying into this. And when I see a lot of investors on something like this, I'm gonna be careful with it. So if I see Yodis at 140 flat and I can snag a snipe, I might buy one or two of these, but I wouldn't expect him to go up that much. If there's gonna be rises on any cards today, it might be on some of your hero captains because these are just some of the more rare cards. Um, and I know that you know you think this this uh, Mario Gomez is really not worth the price, which you could be 100% correct. 400K for this card. I know he's brand new and that's part of the hype and that's why he's a little bit overpriced. Uh, I don't think he's gonna end up being worth that in the next two or three days. But he's really rare. And, and sometimes rarity on a Monday uh, after rewards is all a card needs to jump up in price a bit. Yunberg as well as like 660 or 670, 670K. But if I take a look at his supply, and I'm searching this way because it usually gives you less glitches, uh, to 740,000 coins. We only have two pages, right? So people want to go try a brand new Yunberg upgraded card. If this would go to like, 630 or 640 i would i would contemplate buying it so you know i haven't really bought any of these cards tonight i'm pretty liquid i might go out and try to see if i can snag some good deals on any of these items i might buy one or two where's clint dempsey 
he is 260 at the moment. Uh, he was just 250. So, you know, some of these cards might rise up a little bit. Uh, Di Natale is down a lot, like the Melito that I just talked about. Again, he is down uh, a lot. Di Natale, I think it's like 2-4, right? 2, 4, 2, 5. That's like the lowest that he's been. So again, you might see a few of these cards rise up today after rewards. Um, just be careful if you're trying to trade with them, if you're trying to flip them. Uh, it would be a quick flip because again, uh, if the content today on uh, Monday is ends up being really, really good, then I think you would see these cards drop a bit after that 6 p.m. content. And I don't know if they're going to do lightning rounds. Again, they do, they're doing lightning rounds like every single hour. It just turned to be 11 p.m. here at USA time. So I'm going to go in the store and check if they're doing another one just for, you know, uh, Intel's sake. And they are 84 plus star duo players packs. These are new. They haven't been dropping these that much, but they're dropping them during this promo. 7.6% for a foot captain's player. Yeah, what's the pack percentage for a 125 now? 9.5. Wow. There's so many cheap cards in this promo. They were all supplied so much last week or on Friday. It was crazy with that saved up pack supply. But I would just be careful if you're trading with any of these today. And if you're going to try to make a quick flip or buy one and, and sell it after rewards, I think you will see a few market movements, but I don't know how crazy those market movements are going to be. As you see, Ben Yetter, 1.09, under 1.1 mil. So risk it if you want to with some of those. Uh, and then your out of packs market. One thing that I've noticed is uh, these road to the finals have kind of gotten rare. The ones that are still live and in competition, right? Sadio Mane's one, three, four. I sold him for like one, two highs uh, uh, two days ago. Mares is 700K. He keeps going up in price. Denayer is rebounding. Um, Havertz, of course, after Chelsea in the first leg, the disappointment there, right? He was down to like 140. He's back up to 160. Fati, same thing, right? They drew. So they need to come back in the second leg and he is up like 50k so i'm watching these road to the finals but a lot of the rest of your out of packs market is still low suarez 500 cruz 450 again we were using dibala and firmino uh they're still back down those are kind of barometers that we were just watching prices move to see where the market's been going paqueta 625 where's golden Mbappe? haven't checked him in a hot minute 370 so he's kind of chilling there as well i mean some cards like we talked about have bounced back oh my gosh ronaldo's 3-4 Three, three, my goodness. Okay, well, the, the team of the year is panic selling, at least for Ronaldo. His price is finally dropping when it didn't drop as much last week. Uh, but I know you're, you're seeing some cards that have rebounded back just a little bit on the market um, just because of their rarity and just because of the hype. Again, most people are staying pretty liquid right now heading into that team of the season time frame. And as we get closer and closer, and especially if this week's a big week for SBCs with Coin Drain, then you might see some of these meta cards just slowly trickling down in price once again um, throughout the rest of this week. So right now is just not a time where you want to hold that many cards just because there's so many people that are selling and also so many people that, again, know that that time frame of the game is upcoming, know that they've lost so many coins already. So that just stops people from buying as well, right? Lam, like this guy was, I was looking at him on, on a bid yesterday at a million coins. Like he is down so much. I sold him at like 1.7 mil earlier last week. Inform Neymar is actually down really bad right now. And I know a lot of people were trying to buy this guy at like 850, 860. Uh, and that was low last night. And then Neymar, no shot, dude. 837, 829. Wow, man. If I see a Neymar 800K flat, I'm going to cop that because that is really, really low. Again, I know the lightning rounds are bringing a lot of supply, but that is pretty cheap. Okay, so that one just got bought pretty fast. So maybe we'll we'll maybe risk it a little bit uh, for some of that. Oh, last thing, SBC fodder. Why do I always say fodder for the end? It's because I'm not a fodder trader, okay? You're never going to see me going on a sign on anything except for gold rares for upgrade packs. You can take that to the bank. Anyways, uh, fodder is still low because no great upgrade SBCs for icons, no gamble packs. But again, if you have not stocked any of this, great opportunity to do so. 85s at 7K and under. 86s are 13K flat. Once again, 88s are now looking a lot more spicy to me too. 25, 26K maybe on a bid. That might be kind of hard to get, but like 27K even. If we have an upper echelon SBC release later on this week, that could you know, push those up in value. I really still like the 84s to 86s. That's kind of my favorite zone because for a lot of the icon SBCs as well, you take a look at a lot of the squads in here and you've got like 84, 85, 86, you have some 87s. And if they were to release an icon moments upgrade, like we talked about, 
I think that that would require um, a couple 86 rated squads inside of it. So watch that part of the market as well if you want to get involved on some SBC fodder. And then hopefully EA will release some more coin drain opportunities this week, which I think they would. It would be unlike EA to not release any coin drain SBCs two weeks, week and a half before one of the biggest, if not the biggest promo of the year in team of the season. So I'm going to keep watching that fodder side of the market because I think there is a good potential flip there. I might do a club stock tonight because I don't have anything in the club. And uh, if we're crafting this week, you know, Fernandinho would be a card that we'd maybe go after for a craft and uh, maybe a, a Joaquin potentially. Felix is going to be one of the first cards that I do, maybe starting on an Icon Moments SBC as well. But it's all about the upgrade packs today, boys, because it is a Monday. And hopefully we get that 80 plus times four. That would be absolutely cracked if we got one of those. So I'm going to keep watch over the market here just for the, the next like hour or so after I'm recording this. Just to see if any of these captain's cards get just too low again. Too low in terms of they've dropped so much from yesterday. And if they look rare enough to me, then maybe I'll splash the cash. But even on a guy like this Ben Yedder, I really wanted like 1.05. So I doubt that I'm going to get that. I'll watch a bit or two unless I get like a lucky snipe. I'm probably not going to buy too many of these cards. You're not going to see me go broke or anything like that. I'm going to keep it pretty safe, right? Because again, a lot of people also on this market, while they do want to try out brand new cards... They lost a lot of coins recently, so they're kind of scared to buy at the same time. So it's a mixture of those two things. I think you'll see a few rises today, but not that many. And potentially some big upgrade packs. That's what I'm the most excited for. I'm going to stock my club with some gold rares and non-rares. You should do that too if you want to spend any coins on upgrade packs this week. Of course, be smart if you don't have that many coins. Then don't go out and spend all of your coins on upgrade packs and then be flat broke, right? Don't do that. That's not good club management. I would not recommend that. Uh, to send your club into bankruptcy um, right before the biggest promo of the year, arguably, in terms of all the content that is released. So that's the video for today, boys. Hope your start to the week on Monday is great. Hopefully EA starts our week off well with good content inside of this game too. So it's been Nate the Foot Accountant. Of course, if you did like the video, I missed this part, Frick. Like it if you did enjoy. Comment if you have any questions and subscribe if you're new. It's been Nate the Foot Accountant. I'll catch you guys later. Peace out.